Hello. You may have asked yourself, who is at risk for getting diabetes? My name is Sonia Wade, and I'm an assistant professor and family nurse practitioner at Vanderbilt University School of Nursing. And individuals who are most at risk for getting diabetes are those that are non-Caucasian. That would include African Americans, Latin and Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, and Pacific Islanders. Also, if you have a lifestyle that has virtually no physical activity, which you may hear termed sedentary lifestyle, that also places you at risk. If you are older than 45 years old, if you have high blood pressure with your systolic, which is the top number, greater than 140, or if your diastolic, the bottom number, is greater than 90. If your triglyceride, which is a cholesterol measure, if it's higher than 250, and if your good cholesterol, which is the HDL, if it's less than 35, that also puts you at risk for diabetes. There are other things that might place you at risk. If you're a woman and you have had gestational diabetes, which is diabetes that you have when you're pregnant, or if you had a baby that weighed greater than nine pounds, that can put you at risk, as well as other medical conditions like acanthosis, negrocans, and polycystic ovarian syndrome.